What's good, what's good, what's good? This is John Huey, and I'm coming to you from the Z, and this is the Uncomfort Zone, uh, brought to you by something, something else, and who really cares, because it's here. So, um, check out blacktopia.org, Blacktopia Facebook page, uh, my boy Jay, um, South Uh, East hip hop. So check him out. So today um, I'm coming to you to talk about personal responsibility. Um, personal responsibility. You know, everybody wants to get up in arms and, and, and be mad about people getting killed. Um, you know, it's sad, old oh boy this latest football dude that, that got shot and killed and it wasn't called for but what role did he play now, I'm not blaming the brother for, for, for him taking his own life but what role did you play in taking your own life now, now you see these people that uh, that have been shot and killed by the police um, and I understand People are angry. I understand people are, are, are afraid and all that situation. I'm not talking about the dude that was sitting in the car that didn't do anything but, but take orders. I'm talking about the people who didn't take orders um, and put gasoline on the situation. Now, you already know. Look, I've been black my whole life. So, and yes, I have been harassed. I've been followed home by the police i've you know waited till i got in my home been told to go home been frisked been taken out of my car the whole nine i know that you know i haven't been beat i haven't been in it and that stuff like that but i've had my car you know i've, I've been sitting on the side of the corner on, on the side of the road i've been that been there for no reason basically because of the color of my skin i've been pulled over because i drive nice cars and there's no other reason for it. But, you know, I was rolling one day and I'm like, I'm looking in my rearview mirror and I'm thinking, I'm about to get pulled over. And I got pulled over. I'm driving in a Corvette, a convertible white Corvette. I mean, look at me. Do I look like somebody that normally drives in a Corvette? And this was uh, about 10 years ago. So I looked even younger then. Um, I had dealer plates on there. But all I, have, I, of course, I had all my paperwork. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not riding dirty. So anyway, you know, um, when, when I was younger and I had my my clips and first got it, um, I got pulled over multiple times. You know, and when I first moved out to Cerritos, I was getting pulled over in my truck. So I got pulled over in my mom's car, her old uh, Delta 88 Oldsmobile. So it is what it is, man. You know, but. That's not what I'm, I'm not here to complain about that because we know there's asshole cops out there. We know that there are asshole cops out there. Okay. But did I make the situation worse by talking about this ain't right? Why are you pulling me over? Having an attitude? No, what I'm thinking about, this motherfucker got a gun. And if the shit goes sideways, I could be laying out sideways. So... I understand when shit don't go sideways and it still goes sideways for you. But if you ain't got no warrants, if you don't, if you, if your shit is sh straight, why are you running from the police? Why are you fighting with the police? Now, it don't make it right for them when you don't have no gun to shoot you. But don't make the situation worse. I'm, I'm tired of these motherfuckers talking about, oh, my baby this or, or my brother that or, you know, my my. And then you see the video or you see and you see like. I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Should he have been shot? I, I'm talking about a very in general. I'm not talking about one particular situation. I'm talking about in general. Should he have been shot? No. But when you put yourself in a situation, you're being combative. And then, you know, it's like, you know, ah, da, 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 da. look, I'm sorry. This is how I talk. Yes, sir. Yes, officer. Okay. Is, you know, when I get pulled over, my hands are 10 and 2. 
Windows rolled down. Music's turned off. The motor's off. Turn the light. If it's at night, I turn all the lights on inside the car. And I ask. And I say, how you doing? Anything I can help you with? Not with an attitude, nothing like that. And then I, you know, and he asked for, if they ask for my license and registration, before I do anything, I say, my license and registration are right over there. Can I reach for them? That's what I do. I don't start moving around all fast and fidgeting and doing all kind of crazy shit. I grew up in Compton. When his drive-by was, was jumping off and shit. Carjackings and shit. So I know what the, what the deal is. So don't come to me talking about we, we, you know, your mom and dad didn't teach you about that shit. If, if these young brothers and sisters, their parents ain't teaching them how to deal with the police, then that's on them. I'm sorry. It, there's a time and a place to be combative, but you don't be combative with somebody that's got a gun. I'm sorry. If, if, this, if this is some, some, some shit that makes you feel uncomfortable or, or you think I'm wrong, then, then miss me then. Because I'm sorry. This is what I'm teaching my son. You, know, you fight the motherfuckers in court. You don't fight them on the street. You fight them in court. You go back. I tell my son, this is what I told him. Your number one job is when you go out with your friends because you don't look like your friends because a lot of his friends are white and Asian and Hispanic or whatever else. You don't look like them. They go, all they see is a black kid. Even though you don't even look black because he's mixed. But they're going to see that dark skin and say, oh, he's not an American or whatever the hell it is. What I tell him is your number one job is to bring your ass home. Don't get caught up with your friends. They do some dumb shit. You let them motherfuckers do that dumb shit. You better not do that dumb shit. Start talking to your kids. Raise them motherfuckers. So they know how to bring their ass home. Stop being, oh, if they come to me. There's a time and a place. And the motherfuckers that are making all that hoop hop and roop rob and doop 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 dop. Them the motherfuckers that don't want to vote. That don't want to go out and do what they need to do. They just want to cause confusion. So don't get caught up in all that bull. If you're not really down for it, go sit your ass in the corner with the rest of the clowns. Again, what is your own personal responsibility in the situation? I don't give a fuck how bad just your life is. You know right from wrong. And you know, I, I had a boy, one of my boys was, was posting about all oh, the, the shit, the mass incarcerations and all that shit. I understand that. I have friends that are locked up. Well, no, take that back. I have people that I grew up with that are locked up because they're not friends. They're not my friends. My friends are not in jail. And I don't give a fuck how that sounds because I grew up with my, 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 my friends. Know that I'm not going to call them in the middle of the night talking about, hey, 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 I need you to hide me or I'm in trouble or whatever. No. My friends, I ain't going to put them in that kind of position. Now, my boys, I might call them because I know they know some dirt and that's who I'm going to call. But my, my, my friends, hell no. Nah. I'm not going to put them in that situation. If they ain't got no dirt on them, why am I going to put some dirt on them? That ain't how I roll. Come on now. And if they call me talking that 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 bull, I'm be like, you got the wrong number. Nigga, please. I ain't about I ain't about that shit. You can call me bringing that heat to my house. I got a kid. I ain't trying to hear that. Didn't nobody tell you to shoot that motherfucker? Didn't nobody tell you to steal that shit? Didn't nobody tell you to run from the police? Well, I had a you put yourself in that situation. I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. I'm, you know, stop making excuses for motherfuckers that fuck up. If you put yourself in a situation where you need to be going to jail, then that's on you. I'm sorry. I don't have no, I, I have no sympathy for that. I just don't. I'm sorry. If this sound fucked up, then it's fucked up. But stop making excuses. Oh, well, the laws are, okay, stop interacting with the law. Did, they, did a motherfucker tell you to steal something? No. You knew it was wrong. You did it any damn way. So 
you know the consequences of that shit. Well, you know, it's hard out here. And, and okay, all right, you ain't got to do that shit forever. You know, I'm sorry. Get your ass a job. Oh, I can't find a job. Get your, you know how to hustle some drugs. You know how to hustle all the other stealing shit and slanging it and selling it. You can find yourself something that you can do. But do you want to do it? So these people that are co-signing all these niggas, and I'm, and I'm just saying niggas in general, I'm talking about people that just fucking up. Fuck ups. Stop co-signing for these fuck ups. If they do something wrong, check them on it. Stop letting them slide. So don't get mad about the situation because we got laws that are incarcerating people for, for petty shit. Did you vote? Did your mom vote? Did your dad vote? I mean, look, you be in church all the damn time. You be in synagogue all the time. You be in mosque all the damn time. But are you taking that congregation and are you voting? Or are you just like letting the shit ride? So, you know, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot for many, many reasons. I'm, I'm not happy about this whole election thing. But, hey, people show their true colors. And this is a good thing. Now we know how the motherfuckers feel about us. We, gonna, we was fucked anyway it went. Shit wasn't going to change overnight. You know, stop getting on Obama. Talk. He should do this. He should do that. Learn what the motherfucker could do. Before you start talking about he need to do this and he need to do that. Learn what he's about before you start saying he should do he did what he was supposed to do break the ceiling show what it what a classy brother is supposed to be like what a classy family is supposed to be like Just, he was our jackie robinson was he the best person the best black person that could have been in office that was gonna go in there knock down doors and do shit that was no that wasn't him that wasn't jackie robinson jackie robinson wasn't the best baseball player but he was the right player for that position. He had the right temperament. Don't let this shit fall to the wayside. Realize that we've come a long way and we're getting better. What's happening in this country is it's not that it's getting worse for us. Uh, no, what's happening is the shit's on TV. What's happening is, is that people that don't look like us are starting to have incidents, incidents like us. They're starting to get fucked up by the police like us. They're starting to get jacked up from, from the big business like us. They, so it's starting to hit them. So, of course, they're going to come at us. But I'll tell you one thing, you know, in 20 years, 30 years, I'll be around. And it won't be a majority of any race in this country. So at that point, America will truly be great. Because it will be a, the true melting pot that it's supposed to be. We're working on it. We're getting there. There's nowhere else I'd rather live. Because everywhere else got some, got some issues. I know these issues. I don't know those issues in those other countries, but I'd, I'd rather deal with these issues that I know about than the other issues I don't know about. So it is what it is. So that's all I got to say. Take personal responsibility for the shit you cause, for the shit you put yourself off in. Stop stealing. Stop doing drugs. Stop doing dirt. You stop doing dirt, you won't get caught up. It is what it is. You know, um, last thing. Okay, they even say the government put crack cocaine in our in our in our city. Understand that. But who put the shit in your veins? Who smoked that shit? Did a motherfucker put a gun to your head and tell you to smoke it? Now, if a motherfucker put a gun to your head and told you to smoke it. That's the motherfucker you need to be mad about. That's the motherfucker. If nobody put a gun to your head, 
about this alcoholism. I'm a, you know, okay, first of all, if you never drink, you can't become alcohol. Like, if you never smoke drugs, you can't be a, a crackhead. If you don't shoot them up, you can't be a heroin user. Take personal responsibility. Stop blaming shit on everybody else. You don't have a job? Find something to do. Figure this shit out. Get your hustle on. Your legal hustle. You got time for a cell phone? You got time to get your hair done and nails done or whatever else? Stop having kids if you can't afford them? Take personal responsibility. It's not the government's responsibility to take care of your ass and stop asking them to take care of your ass. What are you doing? What are you doing to help the situation? So again, this is John Huey. This is the uncomfort zone. Take personal responsibility in your own shit. Stop blaming shit on other niggas. Hey, check out blacktopia.org. Blacktopia, the Facebook page. Yo, what's up, Jay? East Coast. I'm out.